Welcome to Art and Fashion. We're here today with our guest, Suhei Gutierrez. How are you, Suhei? Good, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming on the show. So you're an artist. What kind of art do you do? Um, well, it's in transition now, but mm -hmm. I tend to do focus on female nudes mm -hmm. is what I enjoy doing, mainly portraiture. So I'm expanding on that. And what type of medium do you like to use? I use mixed medium. So I haven't used paint in a while, but I use color pencils, pastels, uh, acrylic markers, and I mix them together, and it works. So. Okay. Um, what sizes are usually your pieces of work? Um, I vary. I go from you know an eight and a half by eleven piece to. Um, I go to 20 by 16. Mm -hmm. I get I do large pieces as well. And mostly on paper or canvas also? Um, mainly on paper now. I do canvas occasionally, but lately I've been having a tendency to just stick with paper. Mm -hmm. Now, you said you did mostly female nudes. Uh, where do you draw your inspiration for that? Um, ever since I was a little girl, I actually am originally from Brooklyn. I moved to Long Island when I was about 13 years old. And mm -hmm. um, I used to go to the Brooklyn Museum a lot as a kid. Um, I actually got a scholarship there. And the, before the Brooklyn Museum, as we know it, with the modern facade that it has, it used to have the Greek mm -hmm. gods and goddesses. And I used to see that all the time. So I used to get reprimanded in school as to why I would do nudes, because <laughs> I would do naked ladies or naked men, and, I, and my mom would get a phone call. And <laughs> it just stuck. It's what I like to do. So. All right. Now, what kind of uh, background do you have? Um, well, I actually went to FIT for mm -hmm. fashion merchandising management. So completely different. Um, I went for business mm -hmm. um, because I thought that's what I should do. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but art always called me back. Like, it was always call me back. My professors in the business courses, like, how come you didn't go into illustration? And um, I got commissions even when I was there. Mm -hmm. to do like fashion illustration and then just commissions from private collectors and things like that. So I've been very fortunate. So you are available to do commissioned work as well and you have done commissioned work? Oh yes, and I've done um, a mural. Mm -hmm. I've, I'm currently right now doing a commissioned piece. Um, so I've been very fortunate and you know social media has definitely helped that but word of mouth, it's, I get, it's I'm very fortunate that people enjoy what I do mm -hmm. and it makes me feel very happy when they call me or I get a hug when a piece is done because they're so pleased with what I've done. Yeah. And like being an artist, you're very critical of yourself. You're like, I could have done this better, I could have done that better. Mm -hmm. But then it's so rewarding when they just see the end result mm -hmm. and they love what they have so have the commissions been female nudes as well or have they been no, a variety of a variety of um of subjects uh, mm -hmm. mainly portraits of people that have you know of loved ones that had passed or um you know children or uh even i had like a something that was very close and dear to my heart was a um dia de los muertos a day of the dead mm -hmm. theme um la catrina which is a big um, it's like a major thing, like I'm, um, you know, first generation, you know, from El Salvador, my family's from El Salvador. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it had to do with my culture and it was very, ha I was very happy to do it. Mm -hmm. So it was two small paintings. Okay. And what's the mural that you're working on? Uh, no, I did oh, that did. right after Sandy. Okay. Um, I actually did a few quotes in the office. Um, for Zelka Energy Solutions, mm -hmm. and um, it was a few quotes, and then unfortunately, Sandy happened, and the office was destroyed, and yes. they asked me to do the U.S. flag, and I was just like, it was a huge undertaking. I was like, I was honored, you know, mm -hmm. I'm proud, I'm very proud to be American, but I was, I was just like, wow, all right, so this is simple, nine foot wall, U.S. flag. No, it was, <laughs> <laughs> it was not. It was not. It actually took a lot, you know. It took a lot out of me. I thought this is, you know, the lines and the stars n would be simple, but mm -hmm. it, 
it wasn't, but it worked out and they loved it. And I see it, you know, time and again. It's just like, you know, you see the signature. I think it was um, 2013 when I did it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. Now, where else have you exhibited your work? Um, I've exhibited in Williamsburg mm -hmm. uh, at Guinevere Rodriguez Jewelry Gallery. Um, I've exhibited at the Nassau Community College uh, Firehouse Gallery. Mm -hmm. um, I've exhibited in Selden. Uh, I'm trying to think. There's been <laughs> a few. Uh, I've exhibited at Sip This in Valley Stream. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have had the great pleasure of exhibiting at the Ripe Art Gallery and, mm -hmm. of course, Paper Dolls. <laughs> and uh, right now I have a piece hanging there, so. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have any shows or anything coming up in the future that you're excited about? Um, yes, I'm actually talking to uh, the Salvadorian consulate or mm -hmm. um, embassy and definitely thinking about taking my work abroad, going there. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I just came, well, I, last month I took a trip to El Salvador with my family and it was, it's beautiful. It's just, even though I'm, I'm, I'm American, like when I go there, there's a part of me that feels like it belongs there as well. Mm -hmm. You know, um, being heavily influenced by that, um, being, being very close to my family, being very proud of that. So I really want to focus on pieces like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm also, um, I'm going to take the time to this winter to produce uh, like two series, one focusing on that and that show that I plan to have. I'm aiming for April on that show, but um, also another series of works also having to do a lot with women and, um, you know, where we get our strengths. And even if it's like, even if it comes from, you know, a happy place, even if it comes from um, past love's loss, things of that nature, what makes, you know, a woman stronger. Mm -hmm. So I want to do pieces focusing on that as well. It sounds like a beautiful concept. Yeah. And what medium do you plan on carrying this out in? Um, also paper. I think, you know, color pencil has always been like, you know, my go-to mm -hmm. pastels too. Just something about like, you know, especially pastels, the richness of it, and like I'm, I definitely work faster in that medium. So, mm -hmm. or um, graphite dust or uh, graphite pencils. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. now I had spoken to you previously about um, like doing work that's more charitable, or um, and you talked about doing work in El Salvador with your art. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit more about your involvement with your, it's, I guess, your cultural yeah, <laughs> country? Yeah, um, it's still in the developing phases. Mm -hmm. um, in El Salvador, there's not like a big art community. Mm -hmm. But it's ironic because people make art for a living and it's folk art. Mm -hmm. So there's certain towns in El Salvador that specialize in certain artisan works. And I just want to be able to show what I do mm -hmm. and maybe work and collaborate with some artists there and maybe make something happen. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Do you feel like the artwork there and anything you've seen has influenced the way you've worked as well? Um, it's it's going to start influencing mm -hmm. uh, more of my work. I was so inspired going to the trip and taking pictures and um, just feeling really connected, especially very close to my grandparents more than mm -hmm. anything else. And stories that they would tell me as a child, like I definitely want to bring that out in the work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, now, if somebody wanted to see more of your artwork online, where is a good place that they could go to, to take a look at it? <laughs> they can go to suhegutierrez.com mm -hmm. or um, my Instagram and at Suhe Gutierrez or my Tumblr at <laughs> Suhe Gutierrez Artist and mostly all of my social media is <laughs> Suhe Gutierrez. Okay, and can you spell that? Um, S-U-E-E-Y-G-U-T-I-E-R-R-E-Z. Okay, not the easiest name to spell, not the easiest no. name to say always. No. You were saying that there was like actually a story with that before? <laughs> yeah. Um, for a very long time, like, I didn't really like my name, you know, it wasn't, it's, obviously it's uncommon. Mm -hmm. And um, I was just like, 
you know, what was my mom thinking when <laughs> she gave you that name? But it's from it's from Mayan. Mm -hmm. um, when she was 13, she took a trip to um, like an astrology, like a museum. Mm -hmm. And um, she saw in an old book the name Suhei. And she's like, if I have a daughter, I'll name her Suhei. If I have a boy, I'll name him Jonathan. <laughs> you go from Suhei to Jonathan. It's like, but I'm very happy and proud mm -hmm. of my name now. It's just, it's uncommon. It makes it easier for people to look me up <laughs> on the social media because yeah, yeah. of the spelling. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I've grown to love it now. Yeah, it's a beautiful name, and again, it's unique. So, as an artist, like I'm sure that that helps be helps you be identify you and also find you and your work and everything yeah. online. Also, another thing that I want to add is speaking about charitable work. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also donating a piece to Walk of Art which also helps like inner city school children mm -hmm. with our programs because as we all know unfortunately our programs are the first ones to go and they're cut in the budget mm -hmm. so it gives kids that outlet and they bring the programs to the schools and not only do they cater to the kids but also to the community and also to artists mm -hmm. to continue their work and develop themselves as artists. Oh, okay, how'd you find out about that? Um, a good friend of mine actually um, connected me with the director mm -hmm. of the program and I'm, I created a piece about maybe two and a half years ago um, that I meant for it to always go to charity and um, I'm happy that that's what it's gonna go towards. Do they auction the pieces? They're going to auction the piece I think okay. in Feb February. I mm -hmm. think they they said. So I'm um, going to be very happy to actually see the live auction and be present. Oh, wow. Yeah, that so sounds wonderful. So hopefully it brings a lot of money to them. So. And what's the name of the organization? Walk of Art. Walk of Art. Mm -hmm. And are they still taking submissions if anybody else is interested in donating? Um, I would definitely look them up. They have a, you can look them up in, you know, Google. Mm -hmm. They're in, they have their social media. They're on Facebook and Instagram. And it's W O A. Mm -hmm. Kids is, I think, the abbreviations that would it, you would find it in like Google and social media, and I, their website also goes by that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, have you ever thought about going into sculpture, or photography, or exploring mediums that are like something you haven't worked with yet? Um, <laughs> yes, I have, and I, ironically, a lot of my mentors have been more in the sculptural field, like. Um, mm -hmm. I was so fortunate when, after I got out of FIT, I went to Nassau Community Co um, College and I took courses in art. Mm -hmm. I took about 32 credits. And I had the pleasure of having Professor Mina Mormano, John Sino, who, who was one of the heads at Patch Hog Art Council, um, Kathy Ekdahl. They're all, um, especially M Mina and John, are very... Um, they do sculptural pieces, mm -hmm. and to be a good artist in two-dimensional form, you have to know the three-dimensional and be comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked in clay, and I do have some pieces. I'm still a little bit shy to show that. Um, I need to be stronger in it, grow a little bit more confident in mm -hmm. it. But it's that something that I do want to explore. Photography, um, I've had a passion for it. Um, I admire people like, for example, Sally Mann and her, she does like memento mori photography and it's very like, mm -hmm. it's dark but elegant at the same time, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. What other artist influences do you have on your work? Um, Alberto Vargas, by far, mm -hmm. um, with his Esquire pinups and um, a phenomenal artist that uh, I admire very much and has influenced a bulk of my work, Frida Kahlo. Mm -hmm. I've been obsessed with her since like the fifth grade and I have <laughs> about like 10 books. Diego Rivera, which is her husband, and then mm -hmm. um, Salvador Dali. Mm -hmm. Great, like like the masters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, I look forward to seeing more of your artwork coming up um, in future shows and where you develop your work from where you are right now. Um, is there anything else you'd like to kind of add to our 
our segment. <laughs> no, thank you so much for this opportunity. Oh, thank Greatly you for appreciate coming it. on. Um, actually, I do have another question. Um, you know, you've worked uh, both physically selling art and exhibiting mm -hmm. art. Do you work with the arts career-wise as well within the field? Or? Actually, <laughs> right now I'm currently doing a internship at Ripe Art Gallery um, mm -hmm. with Sherry Via Rexer, mm -hmm. and she's amazing, and she has been a mentor. Like I've. It's almost been a month, mm -hmm. and just learning, I think it's, it's smart as an artist to not only create, but to also know the business aspect. Mm -hmm. Like, what goes into creating a show, the marketing aspect of it, the, um, how to, how the everyday functions of a gallery. Not only is it a gallery, but it's a framing business. Mm -hmm. So how to present your work in you know, the correct manner or how to be more creative with the presentation of your work. Mm -hmm. So it's been a great experience and I'm still learning. Yeah, and in terms of being available for commissions of work, is there an email address that you'd like to provide? Yes, Suhey <laughs> underscore Gutierrez at yahoo.com. Okay. But I'm, you can reach me like I'm, my phone is not is not far from me <laughs> at all. Um, so I do get text messages or like, um, you know, through Facebook and Instagram when people want to buy even prints mm -hmm. so of work that they love. So yeah, mm -hmm. definitely I'm easy to reach, so. Okay, and do you have any words of like advice or direction for young artists looking to develop their own work and looking to develop their own careers in the art field? Don't be scared. <laughs> Stop being shy <laughs> and um, just do it. Like, um, you know, it is, it is difficult and you get, there is no, and you have to get used to it. Some people might not like it, but then there's yeses and you, you know, I've been very fortunate that, you know, it hasn't been for me to say, hey, I'm an artist. It's been from other people and people willing to want to, like, you know, buy my work. Mm -hmm. And actually that's given me the strength and the courage to produce artwork. Because otherwise I think I would just be sketching on part-time. Yeah, or yeah. like just doing <laughs> it because it's fun or I've been doing it since I was a kid. It's actually been other people motivating me to do so. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you, Suhei. It was wonderful having you. Thank and you. I appreciate you coming on the show. Um, this has been Art and Fashion on the Daily Blue, and I welcome you guys to come back next week. Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs>